to test the presence of sugar, starch, proteins and fats from suitable plant and animal materials. We shall perform tests to find out presence of four nutrients, namely sugar, starch, proteins and fats, by performing different types of tests. 1. Test for sugar. Requirements Sugarcane juice Test tube Test tube holder Pipette Spirit lamp or burner Distilled water You can also perform this experiment using urine sample of a diabetic patient. Reagent Benedict's reagent which is commercially available. Procedure Take 1 ml of sugarcane juice for confirming the presence of sugar. Alternately, you can also use urine sample of a diabetic patient for the test. Take 1 ml of sample and add 1 ml Benedict's reagent to it. Mix well and boil it. Note the color change in the test tube. Observation If the sugar is present in the sample, there is a formation of precipitate. The color of precipitate depends on the concentration of the sugar present in the sample. Thus, one can observe green or yellow or red colored precipitate upon boiling. Inference Formation of precipitate confirms the presence of sugar in the form of glucose in the sample. 2. Test for starch For testing the presence of starch, following materials are required. Requirements Slides Cover slips Dropper Water Grains of wheat rice or maize, and pieces of potato. Reagent, iodine solution. Procedure. Starch occurs in the form of grains called starch grains. We shall learn to mount the starch grains. These grains can be mounted either by taking thin sections of the selected material. Alternately, we can squeeze the material and mount the fluid which oozes out. The section or the fluid is stained with iodine solution. This is done by adding 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution on the starch grains placed on the slide. Observation and result Starch grains take up iodine stain and turn blue. The blue grains which you can note under the microscope indicate presence of starch. The types of starch grains depend on the material chosen for the mounting. Under the microscope, the following types of starch grains will be seen. Potato shows simple and eccentric starch grains. Starch grains in rice are small, polygonal, either simple or compound, and concentric. Starch grains of maize are simple and concentric with an elongated hilum. 3. Test for proteins Next is the test of proteins for which we shall require following items. Requirements Gram flour Egg albumin Test tubes Test tube holder Pipette, spirit lamp or burner. Reagents. Reagents used for testing proteins are 20% sodium hydroxide solution and 1% copper sulfate solution. Procedure. We shall take a small quantity of gram flour. We can also use egg albumin, that is, white part of raw egg in a test tube. Add 2 ml of water to the contents in the test tube and shake it well.
Now add 2 ml of sodium hydroxide solution. Mix well. Now add a few drops of copper sulfate solution to the same test tube. Boil the contents for some time and then cool it. Observation The contents of the test tube will turn violet when the protein is present in it. Inference the positive test shows presence of protein. Protein is present in gram flour or egg albumin. 4. Test for fats. The last test is for confirming presence of fats. For this sample, we shall use groundnuts. Requirements. Groundnut in powdered form. Test tubes. Test tube stand. Test tube holder, dropper, pipette, etc. Reagent, 10% sodium hydroxide solution. Procedure, take a small quantity of groundnut powder in a test tube. Add 2 to 3 ml of water to it and shake it well. Add 3 to 4 drops of sodium hydroxide solution to the test tube and shake it again. Observe the change in the contents of the test tube. Observation The contents of the test tube will become turbid if there is fat present in the sample. Inference, fat is present in groundnut powder.